hey guys what is up how you doing what you doing if you're not right now my name is ella marie and welcome back to my channel and if you are new then welcome and if you're not hey girl what's up we're gonna be doing something different today as y'all can see my hair is already done but something's missing the face so we're gonna be doing a little simple everyday type of get ready with me type of thing now i can't lie to y'all it is 4:25. <laughs> I meant to do this earlier because I have content to film for Vlogmas this week, but I did get, didn't get up to like 12. Then I made me something to eat and I started talking and blah, 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 because I'm home for the holidays. See, so yeah, as y'all can see, we're in a different setup we're in my room. Um, the room transformation video is coming, so just look out for that. But in today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of my face. I have all of my makeup products here now. I wanted to film a everyday makeup, my everyday makeup routine, but since it's so late, I'm just going to do a quick get ready with me, like a slight beat face. I don't know what I'm going to call it yet. We're going to see, but I'm going to just show you. I'm going to try not to do my everyday routine because I don't need to do that when I'm just going to film this, film some more content and then go to sleep. I don't want to waste my makeup. Um, now, y'all know I've been into makeup recently. If you I haven't, if you don't follow me on TikTok. There's that. I have all my stuff in here. So I'm just going to pick out the stuff that I know I'm going to use. Now, as far as primer and things like that, I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to wash this off as soon as I finish my um, second thing of content. So probably won't use primer today. So this is going to be like a slight little beat. Okay. Slight little beat. Slight, slight, slight. Let me pick out everything I need real quick and I'll be right back. So I got all the products that I need right here in front of me. So we're just going to go through them as I apply them. I'm going to just take a clip and I'm just going to pin it like this. And I know I look kind of crazy, but that's not the point. Please don't talk about my hair in this video, okay? I don't do my edges because I have a fro. When I don't have my fro, when I have a side part, I do my edges. So let's not talk about it. Super excited. I want to get more into makeup videos because I've been like really just been watching makeup videos for like the past two, three months. So I'm going to start incorporating it on my channel. Um, I have been already incorporating it on my TikTok. So first I'm going to, I'm going to take the NYX brow glue. Hopefully y'all can see that. I'm going to take the NYX brow glue. Now I am running out of this, but I have a second one, a backup. Now I did my brows about almost two, three weeks ago. Like I just um, sharpened them up and fixed them. So I don't really fill in my brows as much as I used to when my brows are done. So that's a plus. It gives me um, more wiggle room to play in my makeup if I want to. I haven't really got to eyeshadow yet, so that's that. I'm taking, this is the e.l.f. Brow Lift applicator. It has the brush, the spoolie side, and then a flat side so I can smooth my brows. I love the laminated look, but I don't like it when my brows aren't good, like cooperating type thing. So I'm just going to push them up, and I try to push them at an angle, not straight up. It makes them way better. Okay, there's one. Looks it looks sharp. And I just followed the of my brows. And since my brows are like kind of done, kind of not done, just gonna leave them like that. Next, usually I go in with my primer. Um, but since I already told you I'm not doing primer today, I'm gonna go straight in with the Fenty Beauty Eardrop Blur Plus Smooth Tint Stick. I've been loving this lately. This is so good, y'all. This is like my everyday thing when I don't want to put on foundation. Now, I do love the Fenty Pro Filter. I think it's the Pro Filter one. Um, but I love this for days where I don't want to apply too much makeup. And her shades just get me like, look at that. Now, I'm not going to put on too much because like I said, I'm not doing that much. But it is creamy and I love it. Okay, um, I am in the shade 15. I noticed a lot of people on TikTok stuff, they'd be like, blend it up with your finger. I think I'm not there yet. I don't like that. So I'm going to use, this is the I Love Revolution Dr. Seuss collab brush. It's a little dirty. Please don't come for me. I only used it yesterday. So, but I'm just going to pat this into my skin. I'm not going to swipe. going to pat. And this is just going to even out my skin tone. Now, my skin has been looking really good. And my skincare cream chef's kiss i love my skincare routine my skin is doing the one default i have a couple of dark spots i'm trying to get rid of but nothing i feel like that's like tremendously hurting my skin or something that's bothering me so i'm just gonna pat this in 
Now I've seen people blur it in with their fingers. I don't wanna do that. I don't wanna do that at all. And I do go above my eyes so that my eye um, lids will be the same color as my face because my eyelids are lighter than my actual skin complexion. And usually I go back in to go around my lips because my lips have like faded around my lips because I used to lick my lips a lot. I'm gonna just leave it be for right now. I think I blended in enough. Usually it just takes me a minute because I apply a little bit more for this. I think we will be okay. And I make sure to go down my neck just a little bit. Next, usually I go in with my setting spray. We're not gonna do setting spray today because I'm taking this right off. I don't need it to stay that long and I don't wanna waste my setting spray. So next I'm gonna go in. I have two concealers. One is the um, color corrector, but I like to use it as a concealer because I feel like I got the lighter shade, a lighter shade that I should have got a um, more color correcting shade, but I have both. These are both Hue to Beauty products. This is the fall false filter corrector, and this is the false filter concealer. The corrector I have in the shade peach, and then the concealer I have in the shade granola. I love this. Granola, I love this. I just feel like it's too light for me. So I have to apply the bare minimum unless I want a bright under eye. But the today we're gonna use the color corrector because I feel like it's more of a concealer shade for me, and it blends. Both of them blend like a dream. So I'm just gonna put a dot, a dot, a dot, a dot. I don't even need to put that much, but I'm gonna put a little bit and I'm gonna put one right there. I don't need to put nothing nowhere else. Now, I will usually put it on my nose, but like I said, we're not doing that. And typically, I go right into blending. I got this powder puff. This is from Eco Tools. This is the liquid side, and this is the powder side. And I usually go right. And with this, I got this from Ulta. I'm just gonna pat. Y'all see how y'all can't even tell I had that? It just gives me a little bit of brighter so my face isn't all oh, one complexion. Y'all see that? Y'all, it just looks so good. I have to show y'all when I do my everyday routine one day thing. And I take the leftover and put it on my forehead. I don't really like putting concealer on my forehead, but I put a little bit because the girl he said to do so. And we'll put a little bit all right here. Okay, that's good. Now, typically, usually I will go in with my concealer over top of that. I'm going to go straight in with my blush. And this is like the first, first, ugh, the first blush that I ever had. This is the Steve Laurent blush. Um, this is in Rose All Day. And y'all, I'm almost out of it. I'm so mad. I love the color of this. Where is my blush? Oh, okay. I look my brush. Um, I love the color of this. I'm trying to find another shade that's just like this, but... Sadly, I am not finding it as of right now. I've been looking for a new blush shade because as y'all can see, this one is almost done. But I haven't found one that I like yet. So if y'all have any recommendations, y'all let me know. Now, I'm a blush girl. So this blush, I'm about to pack it on, okay? And I use the tap, tap on my hand and blush me up. And I like to pull my brush to the top. Y'all see that? That looks so good. Oh, I love this blush. I'm so mad that it's almost gone. I don't really like pink, pink shades, and I don't really know if I like oranges because this is the only blush that I've tried. Lately, I've been using this lip oil as a blush. It's good. And then I put the remainder on my nose. Y'all see? This looks so good, though. I'm mad I'm not going to wear. Usually, I go in with some setting powder, but... Since I've never done anything yet again, I'm going to be using the NYX Professional Makeup's HD Finishing Powder. This is a press powder, I think. It is a press powder, but I don't know if it's like meant to be a press powder. But it's a press powder and it's a very lighter shade to me, but it helps me with under eyes for those days where, you know, you just want under eye. But typically, I would apply this with a sponge. But lately, I've been loving to apply my um, powders with a brush. And I bring that all the way down to the crack of my nose. And y'all see, it's getting me a little bit brighter. I don't want to do too much brighter because it is a lighter shade. I didn't get the correct shade. I was a little... I got this when I like first started out. And y'all can see, this lasts me a long time. I've been using this for like over six months. And it's not even... <sighs> I love it though, but it is a little light for me. Okay, and I will take a little bit and put it on my nose just to do some powder. 
okay and i will take a little bit and just apply this to my brows because my brows tend to get oily today i don't need to do it but i'm gonna do it just because and usually i take my um ultra beauty sponge and i just powder all over my face with my regular satin powder but not this one and take it in the crease of my eye and that's it for my face. As y'all can see, that blush kind of like smoothed it. So I'm gonna apply a little bit more blush. I'm a blush girl. I cannot help myself. Um, I'm, how they say they blush girls? I'm blush girl. It's infinity, infinity. And usually with my setting powder, I'll press it after do my blush because it'll make it look seamless. But since I'm not doing that today. Oh, I did look like that. Okay, I do do a lip combo and I do do my eyes. My lip combo is not really a lip combo, but it's my lip combo, so I'm going to share it with y'all. So first, I have the Clinique Quick Liner for Eyes Intense. This is the eyeliner from Clinique. I don't know if y'all can see that. This is the eyeliner from Clinique. I'll try to find a picture of it, but this is in the shade 01 Intense Black. I use this as my lip liner, and I know y'all like black. I promise it's going to come together. I promise, promise. So I'm going to just go in and do our lip. Oh, I, I already have some lip stuff on, like Vaseline and stuff. I already have that on. So, it's called Lara Lip. And to be honest, sometimes I fly too much, but it ends up working out. So, I don't mind. Mm hmm Usually, I would smudge it, but I think. So I've applied that. Next, I have the NYX Professionals Makeup Butter Gloss. This is in the shade Caramel. Y'all, I love this one. I want to try different ones, but I only have this one. This is the one I've been trying so far, and I love this combo. Just watch when I put it together. Now, typically, I will have like a brown, smoky eye, so this will match it. But... It's good either way. Mm -hmm. And sometimes I block, sometimes I don't. But I'm not going to do it this time because it looks really, really good. Sometimes I will take a gloss to go over the top, but I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to take my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm and just put some stuff on the side because my lips love to be cracked on the side. That's for a little bit. And to be honest, that's kind of it. Last thing we have is going to be lashes. Um, typically, I will apply the Sephora lash one, but this one is waterproof, and I don't need waterproof because I'm about to take it off in a couple, like two hours max. So this one I have is from My Clearance. You can barely see the thing; it's just blue. You can barely see it. It says My Black Mascara, but you can't see the rest. It's from My Clearance, and it's not waterproof. Now, if y'all want to help me with lashes, please do because I've been trying to do lashes, but lashes—that's a whole different thing for me. I don't know if I can do that. But just gonna do a little bit of mascara. Like I said, I'm not doing too, too much because I'm about to take it off and I just need to film some content. It doesn't make the biggest difference, but it helps because my eyes look like little mole rat. And sometimes I do the bottom. I just gotta do the bottom just to give it. I like this one because it's a shorter handle. I just got some underneath, but I kind of like that look sometimes. And that is my final look. Let me go ahead and take my hair down. Okay, y'all, this is the final look. I just look so good, I know. <laughs> I, I love this. This is... Okay, not gonna lie, this is kind of my everyday, but I missed a couple steps and I didn't apply a couple of my products. But this is basically what my everyday makeup looks like. But this is not everyday makeup because we're about to take this off, so I didn't do everything. But this is like my go-to little routine. I think we started at 4.32 or something like that. 4.30 is 4.44. Baby, we did it at record time. I love that for me. But yeah, y'all, this is my final look. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If y'all like makeup content, y'all like beauty content, let me know what other stuff y'all want to see. I do want to go to Ulta and do like Ulta haul. Y'all know I'm doing a lot of Ulta hauls, but I have some more stuff to use and I want to try some new things. I have some new things. I have PR packages that I'm about to film, so look out for that. I hope y'all are enjoying Vlogmas and if you are, give me a thumbs up. Let me know your favorite video from Vlogmas and I will see y'all in the next video.